Hello, my name is Bryce Mulvey and welcome to the Choice Connection. Today we're going to talk to you about fasteners. We get a lot of questions about our fasteners, who makes our fasteners, how should I torque my fasteners, how do I identify my fasteners, and are my fasteners still good? So the first thing we're going to talk about is how you should properly identify your fastener. Here at CP Carrillo, we only offer two different types of connecting rod bolts for our rods. You're either going to get a WMC bolt, which is an H11 tool steel bolt that has a 220 KSI rating, or a CAR multi-phase bolt, which has a 285 KSI rating. The easiest way to identify your connecting rod bolt is by the serial number engraved on the bottom of it. All of the connecting rod bolts from CP Carrillo have serial numbers engraved in the bottom of them so we can track the lot numbers, we can track when the bolt was produced, and in the future if you need a replacement bolt, we'll be able to help you identify that bolt and see what replacement you might need. So the difference between a WMC and a car bolt on the serial number is going to be simply an H or an S. A WMC bolt has an H and a car bolt has an S in the serial number. A WMC connecting rod bolt is good for between 15 and 18 torque cycles, whereas the car multi-phase bolt is good for an unlimited amount of torque cycles if the bolt is not overstretched or overheated. All of the connecting rod bolts come with asymmetrical threads, which help ensure proper torque and proper clamp load in the connecting rod. We get a lot of questions about whether you should torque or stretch your rod bolts. Stretching your rod bolts ensures the proper clamping force of the fastener itself. If you do not have the proper rod bolt stretch gauge, you can purchase one off of our website. The easiest way to tell if your connecting rod bolt needs to be replaced is simply by measuring the free length of the bolt, torquing the bolt in the rod, removing the bolt from the connecting rod, and measuring the free length again. If the free length continues to grow, your fastener has probably been overyielded and needs to be replaced. All of our connecting rods come with the CP Carrillo Molly based fastener lubricant. The proper way to apply this lubricant to your connecting rod bolts is to completely cover the threads and the underhead of the bolt when you are torquing it to the connecting rod. If you have any more questions about your connecting rod bolts, you can refer to our bolt instruction sheet that comes with your CP Krill connecting rods. You can visit our website or call one of our technical advisors.